people of Ghana is your Nigerian get pleasure. Bringing you political news in Ashale and Alatramantin has been causing so much topic since he has come out to say that Ghana needs a leader that is actually a cross life like him. Please, Rich. You enjoyed that conversation with Professor Afropon Bwating and Benjamin Akapo. He said we should do it for God and country. And that's what we are doing here from our election headquarters. We are assessing campaign messages and speeches from the various flag bearers to see um, the feasibility of it and how really it resonates with the people of God, the good people of this country. So next on our agenda, we are talking about the movements for change flag bearer, Alan Shermanting, and some of the things he's been saying. There's a video to set the pace for the conversation, but I want to introduce my guest before we go to that particular video and then start the conversation. In the studio with me this morning is Mustafa Gbande, Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, Haruna Mohammed, Deputy General Secretary of the um, NPP, he's joining us on phone, and then Courage Nobi, Communications Director for Movements for Change, Deputy Communications Director for Movements for Change, and Diodon Kofi Davo, Director of Communications, Catholic Bishop Conference, also joining us on phone. Now let's get to that video and hear exactly what Alan Shermanton said before we start this conversation. Take a listen. Man. Let me start first by expressing my profound gratitude to the chairman of the Pentecost Church of Ghana for facilitating uh, our visit to the Dr. White congregation this morning. Brothers and sisters, as Christians, today with the resurrection of Christ, we are celebrating victory over death. The sorrow that engulfed us with the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ has given way to victory. Amen. After 67 years of independence as a country, we are still unable to provide the necessities of life for the majority of our people. Boasting about the fact that we have over 70% Christians in this country, we have a responsibility to make a decision this December as we go into the elections to bring into being the kind of leadership that will restore hope in all humility I want to present to you as one of the people who will be contesting to be this country. Amen. It is not about political parties, a leader who will transform this nation. Amen. Our preacher has informed us yeah. that resurrection should lead to transformation. We want a leader who has the vision to bring hope to the hopeless, but we also want a leader who will be a servant leader to serve the people and not to lord over them we also want a leader who has integrity these were the characteristics of our lord jesus christ who today is risen amen so as a predominantly christian nation as christians it is our responsibility to ensure that we elect a Christian leader who is also a Christ-like leader. And I want to use this platform in particular to commend highly the Church of Pentecost for the role they played in education, in health, in the economy, and also in winning souls for Christ. Amen. Without doubt, the Pentecost Church is the largest denomination in Ghana. With your numbers, you can determine who becomes leader in December 2024. So, you have to make the right choice. When we are called to judgment, it is not going to be were you a Pentecostal, were you a charismatic, were you an Anglican, or were you a Roman Catholic. You'll be called because you stood up for Jesus Christ. Amen. If God touches your heart and you vote for Alan Chomating, the transformative leader, then I can assure you, as our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross promised the thief that he shall be in paradise with him, you shall also be in paradise 
when I come into power. Amen. Once you open up paradise, honorable Alan, everything to me. Well, let me show you now. God bless us. Well, so there you have it. That particular speech, the ending part of it, about voting for a Christian leader, is what has caused this backlash. Courage Nobi, you speak for Alan Tremantin. I want to give you the chance. Now you're seeing why Alan Tremantin has been trending for some time now. It has gotten to people's notice that he actually was referring to someone. Yes, Alan Tremantin is the presidential candidate of Butterfly Party, which we know that he left MPP for his own party. People are really coming out to backlash him and say so many things to him because of this particular speech. So, so, just give me a minute. Let me come back to you. Let me bring in okay. the um, the um, director for communications of the Catholic Bishops Conference. He joins us on phone. Thank you for joining us, Bishop. So we know that Ghana is constitutionally a secular country, but Christian nationalism influences our politics in a bit. Would you say that this is the statement from Alan Shermantin saying that Christians should vote for a Christ-like or a Christian leader is flawed? Or how does it sit with you? So, um, thank you, Didi. Greetings to, to your viewers. Uh, just to correct that, I am Father Jordan Nair of but not Bishop. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um, first of all, I think it's just important for us as a people to appreciate what we have enjoyed um, as a country over the years because of religious tolerance knowing that we are a secular country um, and how this diversity of religions has brought us together as a people than to divide us. And so as a conference, the bishops keep hammering on the point that there is a need for us to see ourselves as one. Sincerely, what we do as a people in Ghana, others hear about it and they wonder how we live peacefully with one another, no matter the religious backgrounds come. And for us, this is what we should encourage, this is what we should promote. That is why already as far back as November last year, we did not only join the National Peace Council to ensure that we take away any policies of religion from, from our campaigns this year, as we, as we move towards the election in 2024. Also, in the communicate that was issued at the end of their plenary in Sunyani, again in November last year, the bishops were clear in asking all politicians and Ghanaians in general to eschew all forms of politics of religion. And we should always have Ghana faith in all we do so that we can preserve the peace and unity of our motherland. Just last week, as part of the Easter message, they still came out strongly on the need to be tolerant of one another's religion and avoid things or doing things that will bring about religious intolerance and conflict in our country. And I'm happy that some of the earlier speakers have indicated that religion, if you are not careful, can become the bane instead of bringing us together for what we want to do. That is why we would have to be careful what we say in our attempt to win people over in our attempt to win votes. So as Bishop's Conference, we don't think to say that because majority are Christian. And so somebody should ask that he should be voted for on the basis of being a Christian is the way to go. We are a secular country, and we have enjoyed this peace over these years by living together, by appreciating one another's religion, and by tolerating one another because of who we know we are. So these are my initial remarks. Well, Father Diodono, so you also condemn the statements from Alan Sherman saying that it's not, it's not a step in the right direction. It is not a way to go. We, we appreciate that we, as somebody again, as uh, Mustafa said, if we are talking about values, we expect that whether you are Christian, you are Muslim, if you are a traditionalist, your values should influence what you do when you are in politics. Mm. We want to see those ones bear fruit. 
But to say that because I am a Christian and because we have a majority of Christians in Ghana, that is why I should be voted for. I, we don't think it is the way to go. All right. Thank you. Let me bring in Haruna Mohammed now, who's a general secretary for the NPP. Haruna, it is your party that started the backlash against the statements from Alan Tremonti. Can you explain to me exactly what your issue is or what's your point of contention on this issue? Um, thank you very much. Uh, point of correction. I'm the Deputy General Secretary. All right. Uh, my, boss, okay. my boss is still alive okay. and uh, he's very keeping <laughs> and handling the party very well. Thank you. Um, mm. I think that the, the party has not officially come out to uh, make a statement on this particular uh, religious commentary that is made by um, Alan Kujo Chairman Chen. There is individuals within the party that has raised concerns over this religious uh, uh, comment, which we found to be very unfortunate to our politics in Ghana. Um, if you look at our candidate, he's the most person that has been very tolerant to all multi-religious facets in this country. And for us, we want to maintain the standard that be it a Christian, a traditionalist, or whatever, we should be able to talk about bread and butter issues. And these are the things that concerns us. If you look at the formative stage of the New Patriotic Party, we respect religious uh, issues, we respect hierarchy, we respect leadership, we respect all manners of things that uh, affects the Ghanaian, not just to reduce uh, the whole region, uh, the whole context of politics to religious uh, leadership. I believe that uh, there is more to it than what uh, our brother is talking about, and that is why uh, this is receiving several uh, uh, condemnations from various religious leaders, including the Christian community. Would you find it interesting that the president wants to build a national cathedral, which implies that it's for Christians, but some people in your party, like you said, are condemning a statement from um, a flag bearer? Please do where to like, comment, follow, put your notification bell so you get all our updates one by one. Thanks, my people.